now our next discussion is focused on estimating distance of a fault from a particular well so now in this particular discussion we will be qual qualitatively sorry quantitatively evaluating the distance of a no flow boundary from a well now based on our principle of superposition that we have studied earlier in unit 1 where if there is a boundary we can replace this boundary by an imaginary well and this concept has been used to frame certain equations and from the help of those equation we will try to estimate the boundary of a well okay so uh, the distance of a boundary from a nearby well can be estimated so here the pressure history of a well located at a distance l from a reservoir boundary can be simulated by adding the drawdown caused by actual well acting as if it were an infinite reservoir to the drawdown caused by image well located at resistance 2L from the actual well and with exactly the same rate history of an actual well. So this is the concept of a principle of superposition. Figure 2.30 illustrating that a actual well which is being produced near a no flow boundary if we replace this no flow boundary we have another well which is an imaginary well which is producing at the same rate as that of actual well and it is a distance of 2L from the actual well okay and now we have to also consider that the production caused by a well is a constant okay and therefore we can use the simple EI functions and principle of superpositions to solve here you can see the equation at the top is simply the principle of superposition written for the particular imaginary well and the actual well now here you can see that the well has been produced for time tp this is called pseudo producing time and the equation of drawdown has been written in this way so this is the total drawdown and actual well and the effect of a imaginary well has also been considered which is at a distance from an actual well at a distance of 2L. Now we can develop an equation describing a build up test for such well. Now consider the actual well we are going to perform some build up test on this particular well. Now in build up test the well is allowed to flow for a certain period of time that is TP and after that it is shut in. So the same thing will apply on an imaginary well and the equation that is being written in the form of 2.25. You can see that the pressure drawdown is Pi minus Pws and therefore the equation is written in this form. If you clearly see this equation the equation comprises of two part one part is this part and one part is this part so this is the equation which is being written for an actual well and this is the equation which is written for pressure build up in an imaginary well so in combined we are having the equation 2.25 which is showing the pressure drawdown at well a which is an actual well now here you can see that if the shut in time is sufficiently large that means if delta t is sufficiently large then we can uh, logarith logarithmic approximation is applicable therefore this ei function can be replaced by log that is log 1.78 x okay so here if we are replacing this ei function for a sufficiently large value of delta t by logarithmic function the equation that we get is 
this one equation 2.26 which is a simplification of an above equation you can see this now here what is the things to be observed is that this PWS is equal to PI minus 325.2 QB mu upon KH log TP plus delta T divided by delta T. In this equation, it can be seen that this particular constant earlier it was used to be 162.6, now it is 325.2, that is the slope has got doubled. Okay. So, if we are talking about a boundary nearby, after middle time region, we are getting slope which is double that of initial slope. Therefore, a two observations can be made. Number one, for well near a single boundary, shows that the slope of build up curve will eventually double. So, this is an outcome by writing the principle of superposition for two wells that is an actual well and an imaginary well. Now observation 2 is quite important because we have assumed that the shut in time is sufficiently large and the EI functions are applicable therefore the function that is x which is inside the uh, inside the EI which is nothing but 372 phi mu ct l square divided by kt should be less than 0 0.2 that means only then the logarithmic function is applicable now if this is true then delta t should be greater than 1.9 into 10 power 5 phi mu ct l square by k now this delta t is dependent on l and k now for sufficiently large L and a small k, the time required for slope to double may be longer than the time required for actual build up. Okay? That means you can say that the time at which the slope will double for a case where length is, uh, sorry, uh, the distance between the boundary and the well is large and for the case where the permeability of the reservoir is very less okay so in both the cases the time for build up is quite large and we cannot wait for the slope to double okay in that case this approximation of shut in time sufficiently large will not work therefore the same equation 2.25 can be written in a different form where we can simply use this equation to find out the distance of a well from a nearby boundary. So how we do this is shown in next slide. Now here as we have saw that waiting for the slope to double is not a satisfactory method of identifying a no flow boundary that means a no flow boundary means a fault or something so a no flow boundary identifying by doubling the slope will take long shut in time and this should not be our objective so this equation 2.25 can be further rearranged understanding that tp that is pseudo producing time is sufficiently larger than the delta t. Now if this is so, this equation can be written in the form of equation 2.27 where we can neglect delta t from the middle portion of this equation. So here you can see that in this particular term we can neglect this delta p, delta t sorry. So this delta t can be neglected and therefore and therefore this equation 2.27 is now appear so you can see that this delta t has been removed from here so that this particular thing will be taken as constant okay so if you see the above portion of this equation this is 
showing the middle time region okay so therefore this part is a build up part pressure build up part and this is a added constant that means this added constant will not change the middle time region only this function which is appearing here is responsible for the change in slope okay the change in slope will be responsible or is the outcome of this particular function therefore whatever change in delta p occurring due to this function will give us actually the value of l that is distance from the boundary therefore the number of step have been suggested which will allow us to find out the value of l that is the distance of boundary from a particular well using the equation 2.28 so delta pws is nothing but it is a deviation of the pressure build up data from the middle time region to change in slope of late time region so if we know the change in slope of this um late time region so that change in delta p can be written in this form and therefore this l can be evaluated so equation 2.28 is quite important in finding out l that is distance of a boundary from a particular well so we'll do a numerical based on this particular equation and we'll try to find out how we can find out the distance of a boundary from a particular well so there are two cases now where if the boundary is nearby we will get the slope doubled number 2 if we have two conditions like the boundary is far away and the permeability is quite low then doing the build up test for a longer certain period would be difficult then we can use the equation 2.28 okay so equation 2.28 is simply used for certain condition where the well is quite far <coughs> from the boundary or the permeability is lower if this is not so we'll have a different equation that we'll be using and i'll show you while i'll show you that equation while calculation so let us see this particular pressure build up data which is shown in table 2.6 where we have sufficient shut in time hours from 0 to 66 shut in time hours here you can see that the plotting function that is tp plus delta t by delta t has been calculated from pressure build up data and has been used to evaluate the distance of a boundary from the well so first of all in this particular question we will try to evaluate the value of 3.792 three 3792 mu ct by k and this comes to be 1.934 into 10 power minus 4 now we first estimate l at delta t equal to 10 hour which assumes that the approximation tp is approximately equal to tp plus delta t is an adequate in this case so you can see that this pws is equal to 52 now from where we get this value this value is once you plot this function in a plot you will see that you have two different curves now one curve is of middle time region okay so from that curve you find out the slope of the middle time region and you have another slope which is from late time region okay so once you plot the data you will see that there is a slight deviation from middle time region and from slight deviation you will see how much is deviated means how much is the delta p so that delta p is 52 and this 52 is written here and we have found out this l from using this particular equation 
now this l is found out to be 239 for a greater understanding you can see a book by john lee how it has been found i'll not explain it fully here okay if you have any doubt you can ask me in the portal google classroom now you see we have an other another case where we try to estimate the distance to a fault now here you have again some pressure build up data which is from 0 to 120 hours now this is a quite uh, big shut in time hours and the plotting function is shown on the right hand side that is table 2.20 this particular data have been plotted and it has been seen that there are two slopes okay now we have to find out the intersection of these two slope on the Horn's plot now once you find out the intersection of these two slopes that the slope of middle time region and the late time region you will have a value of tp plus delta t upon delta t where the intersection has occurred and at that particular intersection will take will find out the value of delta t now once you have the value of delta t at that particular intersection we'll use this particular equation that is l equal to 0.000148k delta t x divided by 5 mu c t to the power 1 by 2 or you can say l equal to root over this term now this has been found to 147.7 feet also one thing to be noted that the time required for the slope to double in this particular case and in this particular question is found to be 55.7 hours what does it mean it means that the slope that has been doubled is in 55.7 hours and our shut-in duration was total is 120 hours so the slope has been doubled well before the total build-up test data therefore in this case we can see that the boundary is near as well as we can interpret that the permeability would have higher okay so in this way there are these there are the two cases where we have discussed how we can find out the distance of boundary from a particular well, i hope you have understood it if you have any doubt if you have any questions please ping me up through whatsapp or through google classroom i'll be available for you thank you very much students see you in next lecture thanks thank you very much